Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. EastEnders Nish Panasar plots revenge after Cat Mitchell twist. EastEnders Nish Panasar will plot revenge on the 6th next week after Cat Mitchell rumbles his latest plan. Nish has begun an unexpected relationship with Cat in recent episodes, but has already revealed how his intentions towards her are far from honorable. Nish will seek an opportunity to get his hands on Kat's fortune in upcoming scenes as she pursues her divorce from Phil. Kat starts to worry about Raymond in the wake of everything that's happened with Denise, but Phil shuts down her concerns and tells her that his solicitor has started their divorce proceedings. When Kat overhears that Phil is buying the arches from Ben, she starts to suspect that Phil isn't being honest in the divorce as the business wasn't listed on his solicitor's letter. Nish seizes the opportunity to get his hands on some of the money and introduces Kat to dodgy divorce lawyer Roger Peel. This raises alarm bells with Kat, who later arrives back at number 41 to see Nish. Kat then has to fend off a shocking attack from Nish and runs to Stacy, Eve and Suki. All four women join forces to humiliate Nish, who retaliates by giving DC Wisson a call regarding the events of Christmas. The remaining six women meet with Johnny later in the week to discuss the latest developments after this. Things take a sour turn when an argument erupts between Stacy and Suki, prompting Stacy to evict her. Suki has to tell a devastated Eve she's leaving, as a smug Nish watches on. Vinny gives Suki food for thought on the situation, and she heads back to the Panasars to ask for a truce with Nish. Once again, Nish turns violent, but the wider Panasar family manage to arrive home in Suki's time of need. Has Nish finally pushed them too far? Discussing next week's episodes, Navin Chowdhury, who plays Nish, said, I think initially with Nish and Kat, there was a genuine attraction of two people in similar situations. There was a common ground over which they bonded genuinely. But Nish, being the manipulative opportunist that he is, saw a wonderful prize at the end of it, Phil's money and businesses. I think there was an affection at first that then transformed into an opportunity for him. Explaining why Nish calls the police regarding what happened at Christmas, Navin added, I think it's a desperate backup plan. I think it was material he always thought he could use, but I don't think he ever felt he would have needed to. The plan was going so well, he was literally a signature away from acquiring 50% of Phil's assets and right at the 11th hour it's gone wrong, and so this is a desperate man. It's a man who is desperate and has to employ different tactics and this is one of the best cards he has to play right now.